Welcome to a channel dedicated to helping you explore the Canadian backcountry, the road less traveled. Whether you're a seasoned off-roader or just looking for a weekend adventure, my name is Ryan and this is Unassumed Roads. This week we wanted to tackle something more challenging, something more exciting and longer. We made the decision to visit Concession 10, just outside of Brecon, Ontario. Concession 10 is northeast of Lake Simcoe. The landscape is relatively flat, with forests, farms, and wetlands. This unassumed road allowance runs 3.52 kilometers or two and a quarter miles from the Concession 10 trailhead, which is where the municipally maintained road ends, to the public boat launch at Lake Dalrymple. It runs through a lush forest, which is a snowmobile trail in the winter months. The weather when we arrived at 11.30 a.m. was sunny, beautiful, about 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And I brought my lovely wife Petra and our two-year-old Lily, who loves to topple cameras mounted to tripods. It was a day of vast blue skies adorned with billowing clouds and given the six days of rain we had just experienced, we were very grateful to be enjoying it. The bushland stretched endlessly. It was awash with the resurgence of life after a long winter. The air was invigorating and the colors were vibrant. It continued on like this for probably about a kilometer, but unfortunately, things were about to change. The trail narrowed and began to deteriorate. We couldn't turn around. We were surrounded by water and it grew more and more soggy with every foot we traveled. Soon as we were driving, we could see the tires compressing, wringing water out of the earth, almost like it was wringing out a sponge. And eventually, quite uneventfully, we found ourselves stuck. The earth beneath us gave way and the truck just sunk. With four wheel drive engaged, front and rear axles locked, the truck wasn't getting any traction whatsoever. It was unsettling. Neither of us had cell phone service. We thought we were overprepared for a relatively easy trail, and now suddenly we're buried in mud and digging ourselves deeper? The rear wheels, while unencumbered, were just spinning. The front passenger wheel, 37 inches tall tire, was buried. That's nearly three feet deep. The frame was resting on the mud. And what was worse is there wasn't anything decent to tie the winch to. Petra was exploring the water in front of the truck. And as she stepped in to determine its depth, I would have used a stick. She fell in and <laughs> needed to be rescued. <laughs> Things were getting a little bit tense. So we decided to stop for lunch. Whenever you're ready. We also embarked on a culinary adventure, crafting irresistible chicken club sandwiches on the trail. Using our portable Weber barbecue, we b cooked bacon-wrapped chicken breast to perfection. Slicing the juicy chicken, we assembled the sandwiches with mayo, red onion, lettuce, tomato, and more bacon on a fresh bun. Each bite celebrated smoky flavors, creamy texture. <laughs> creamy textures? You love those creamy textures. No, I'm not saying creamy textures. What the f***, Ryan? What is this? Well, look, you were talking about bringing mayo 
you know, it's got to be... I mean, people are trying to learn how to cook on the road. And you felt that, like, bringing mayo was a useful thing to tell them? Well, you could have Make cut... sure you bring the mayonnaise. You could have cut that part out. What? Creamy flavors? Creamy textures. Ew! I didn't actually come up with it. I used chat GPT. I know! Okay. God, okay. Just start over. Okay. <clears throat> We also embarked on a culinary adventure, crafting irresistible. <laughs> so lunch was over and we approached our situation with an improved mindset and some new eyes. While we were still very stuck in the middle of nowhere with no cell phone service, we did have two tow straps uh, we had a long winch, long winch cable, and it was clear that there were some trees on the other side of the water that we could potentially hook up to uh, that that might be within our range. So uh, we started to do that. We disconnected the cables from the shrubbery and found about a seven inch diameter tree on the other side of the swamp. That was enough to get us up and out of our trench. And then we wanted to go further, but after the falling in the water incident, we decided it might be better to explore with the drone. And as we flew the drone down the trail, you can see there's a lot more water, uh, a lot more mud. And I don't think anybody was interested in spending the rest of their afternoon getting stuck in that mud or tearing up the trail to the point where nobody else could enjoy it. We universally agreed, we'll come back a little later in the season, once spring is over, when it hasn't just been raining for six days, and we will try again, because there's really a lot of trail to enjoy here. While we were getting this fabulous drone footage of the rest of the trail, I was perfecting my 87 and a half point turn skills, uh, where I proceeded to get stuck again. Disconnect the winch, reconnect the winch, pull sideways. Finally, finally, we were out. By now, all of the tire tracks that we had left along this stretch of trail had time to fill with water. The water made everything a lot more muddy, and we had significantly less traction. Given that we couldn't make it through the whole trail this time around, we're not going to apply a rating until we can come back and experience the trail for all it is. I would strongly recommend that unless you're looking for a day of mudding, got a few trucks with you do not come down this trail in april maybe wait until july when it's had a little more time to dry out we're going to return this summer and do an updated concession 10 run through if you're enjoying the content on unassumed roads we'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe our commitment to you is to create better funnier and more adventurous and entertaining videos each week thanks for watching